Welcome, we win. From a momentous cruise ship collision in Venice with a tourist boat to a harrowing incident off the coast of Sijin, Kaohsiung, where a Chinese fishing boat tilts and rolls over. These dramatic events underscore the unpredictability and dangers inherent in seafaring activity. It also serves as a valuable reminder of the potential perils lurking within the vast expanse of the world's oceans. Let's get it on. A Spanish cargo ship named La Lucnos met with disaster near Biarritz, France, as it collided with a dike in Anglet and split in two. The incident, occurring amid fierce 110 kmh winds, prompted a hazardous rescue operation that successfully evacuated all 12 crew members. En route from Spain to load steel billets at Bayonne's port, the ship's engine failure, coupled with adverse weather conditions along the Atlantic coast on an orange alert, led to the spillage of 127 cubic meters of diesel fuel, necessitating a cleanup crew dispatched from Brest. The risk of marine environmental pollution is always a big concern after every ship accident. Somebody did a really bad job. Do you think so? Because the water wasn't even rough, so sad. The problem of overload is always understandable but difficult to avoid. Why so? On April 13, 2012, a cargo vessel named the Delta Mariner collided with the Egner's Ferry Bridge, which spans the Kentucky Lake portion of the Tennessee River. The collision caused a section of the bridge to collapse into the water. The Delta Mariner was carrying space shuttle components for NASA en route to Cape Canaveral, Florida. The collision occurred in the early morning hours, and fortunately, there were no reported injuries among the crew. However, the bridge sustained significant damage, leading to its closure and subsequent repairs. A surfaced footage depicts a startling maritime incident in Taiwan where an oil tanker collided with another vessel. Captured by CCTV cameras, the Taiwanese tanker Qinxing collided with the chemical tanker De Yun in Kaohsiung Harbor on November 3, 2018. Prior to this collision, the Qinxing had also struck the Japanese cargo ship Setsu Maru. Thankfully, no casualties were reported from this alarming sequence of events. If you find some interesting things from our videos, please comment what you like so we can make more videos. Thanks much. Now continue. A big cruise ship that was preparing to dock in Venice lost control on Sunday morning, crashing into the wharf and hitting a smaller tourist boat. Many tourists running away in shock as the Opera MSC cruise ship scraped along the dockside before smashing into the River Countess tourist boat. The crash was reported to happen after a cable used to link the cruise ship to the tugboats that were pulling it into the city's canals broke. The opera ship was unable to stop due to its huge weight and the strong currents pulling it towards the dock. Venetians have long dubbed these massive ships monsters because they often ruin the lagoon's view, but also because they are held responsible for hurting the foundations of the city's historical buildings with the waves they create. A chaotic scene unfolded as an out-of-control ferry careened into a massive crane, igniting a fierce fire at the dock. The powerful impact, attributed to high winds, led to a towering inferno engulfing the area in Barcelona. Thick plumes of black smoke billowed into the sky, visible on the horizon. Despite the intensity of the explosion, Reports indicated no injuries from the incident, sparing lives amidst the chaos. You are watching the sinking of the Express Pearl, a cargo ship ablaze for weeks off Sri Lanka's coast.
A fishing boat had just been launched when it began to tilt and roll over in front of everyone in Sijin, Kaohsiung. It took four tugboats to right the ship and pull it back to the shore. Fortunately, all the crew members were safe in the end. Like video, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to watch more amazing moments. A seven, double five foot tanker collided with a tugboat that was pushing two barges close to Bayport, Texas, resulting in the capsizing of one barge and damage to the other. Both barges were transporting approximately 25,000 barrels of reformate, a colorless, flammable, and toxic substance. Reformate poses significant hazards, being dangerous to touch, inhale, or ingest. The collision raises concerns about potential environmental and safety risks associated with the spillage of such hazardous materials. Video footage has emerged capturing the distressing scene of a whale watching ship sinking in Canada. The footage reveals the vessel slowly succumbing to the waters. This incident serves as a sobering reminder of the risks associated with maritime activities, particularly in challenging conditions. An yacht of a millionaire ploughed into a stretch of rocks and lost its bow in the force of the impact which happened at Ad Ilnibani just off the coast of Porto Servo on the island of Sardinia. The patrol boat Dua departed from the Hamasaki Quay on Ishigaki Island have a crash with Rebun. The cargo ship Siryu collided with the Koimaru near the Kurushima Strait off the coast of Imabari City, Aheim Prefecture, and sank. You can see that there is a large gouge in the front, probably caused by the collision. In severe winds, departing from King Harbor became challenging for the sailboat, unable to navigate back behind the breakwater. Caught in the tumult, a massive wave propelled the vessel toward the pier, leaving it stranded. Despite the ordeal, all four passengers managed to reach the shore unharmed. Bless them. A fishing boat carrying three men capsized in Grand Rapids on Wednesday, March 28, 2018. Thank God all three men were rescued by fisherman Dustin Leonard, who responded to the scene in his boat later. Ah, that was painful to watch this. They try to recover a beach sailboat, but it ends very badly. <laughs> the beauty of a ship launch captured in video lies in the culmination of meticulous planning and engineering meeting the raw power of nature. The anticipation, the sheer scale of the vessel, the suspense as it glides down the slipway, and the thunderous splash create a mesmerizing spectacle. In December 2019, Mark Antony's opulent yacht, the Andiamo, became engulfed in flames while docked at Miami's Island Gardens Marina. 
The multi-million dollar vessel faced substantial damage as the fire raged, drawing attention and concern. Thankfully, no injuries were reported during the incident, yet the blaze caused a considerable amount of destruction to the luxurious yacht. Never forget to prioritize safety protocols and regular maintenance to prevent such incidents. Do you know Lulu? It was a cargo ship that tragically sank off the coast of Dubai in April 2013. The vessel, which was transporting goods between Dubai and Iran, encountered rough seas and adverse weather conditions. This led to the ship's distress and subsequent sinking. The incident drew attention to safety concerns in the shipping industry and prompted investigations into the circumstances surrounding the sinking. Join us as we witness the power of preparedness, the importance of caution, and the sheer determination it takes to stay safe on the water. Don't miss this thrilling reminder of the critical role water safety plays in our daily lives. Everett Marina resides in Everett, Washington, positioned along the eastern shores of Puget Sound. In 2017, a fire broke out at the Everett Marina in Washington, destroying several boats. The blaze engulfed multiple vessels moored at the marina, leading to significant damage, as you can see. A boat taking West Ham fans to their match against Fulham crashed into Hammersmith Bridge. Then the bridge is already close to traffic because of a risk that it might collapse. While the boat did finally free itself, damage to the bridge was estimated about more than half a million dollars. A video of a boat danced on the edge of peril, battling the relentless power of the formidable waves. The vessel teetered perilously amid the colossal swells, causing it to rock violently. A boat caught fire off Egypt's Red Sea coast. Many tourists were rescued along with crew members. They were brought to Marsa Chagra. The fire was caused by an electrical short circuit on the boat. This event underscores the critical importance of proactive safety measures while at sea. Oh my God, that video of a ship launch going horribly wrong has become an internet sensation in 2013. Another video of a charter yacht caught on fire off Miami Beach in October 2022. A colossal wave unexpectedly surged, towering over the vessel. With overwhelming force, the wave capsized the yacht, swiftly submerging it in a tumultuous cascade. An inferno aboard a vessel off the shores of Holland causes some huge damages. The ship, ferrying nearly 3,000 cars from Germany to Egypt, caught fire approximately 27 kilometers from the Dutch island of Amland in the early hours. Suspicions arise that the fire stemmed from one of the 25 electric vehicles on board. This reflects a recurring concern in maritime transportation and highlights the urgent need for marine safety measures. Fire damages luxury yacht in Fort Lauderdale. Do you think smoking is the cause, as some people guess? Fishing in the Gulf of Alaska can be treacherous due to the region's notorious storms and rough seas, and vessel Linda's Draw is one of them. It was capsized in a huge storm in the Gulf of Alaska. A sad sight, seeing a ship disappearing under the water.
In May 2020, over in Rostock, there was this remarkable yet unfortunate incident involving the Orion 1. This massive ship had just received its heavy-duty Liebherr crane, weighing a staggering 5,000 tons, freshly installed at the port. As they were putting the crane through its paces at 35 meters of outreach and 175 meters of hoisting height, the hook of the crane suddenly gave way, leading to a catastrophic collapse of the entire crane system. It was a truly shocking turn of events, and one that left quite an impression on those who witnessed it. And this is another video of Austin construction workers running for their lives as a massive crane collapses. Holy crap. During an air show on a Saturday in August 2011, a catastrophic incident unfolded as a plane caught fire. Oh my gosh. Okay, everyone. Oh, my gosh. Out. The terrifying sequence of events began when the aircraft found itself unable to recover from a downward spiral, ultimately leading to a nose-first descent into the ground. Spencer, Oklahoma is a small city located in Oklahoma County in the central part of the United States. A fire emergency struck the first congregational church of Spencer in a distressing turn of events. The incident occurred shortly after severe storms, accompanied by intense lightning, had passed through the area. It's a stark reminder of the vulnerability of structures to natural forces and the community's resilience during such challenging times. Before we move any further, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon so you can keep watching our amazing content. In a two years ago devastating event, an apartment building on the north side succumbed to a massive fire, leaving a trail of destruction in its wake. This catastrophe unfolded amidst a backdrop of water supply issues. It posed a significant challenge for the firefighters who struggled to access an adequate water source. Their efforts were hindered by the water scarcity, forcing them to transport water from a remote location, significantly delaying the rescue mission. The same body of fire is going to be on two to the extent that they're going through. I need somebody to pull a second line to the trailer side and start washing that down. Thank you. Red fire tank. We got two and a half in play on four two. Good for you, two and a half in place on four two. It's eleven. We got the second line. A major fire erupted in Atlanta due to a gas leak, prompting road closures on Sylvan Road. The chaos began when a contractor accidentally damaged a four-inch natural gas main while digging, igniting a fierce blaze. Concerns grew as the gas line's proximity to a gas station and a neighboring daycare became apparent. Sylvan Road was closed from Cis Drive to Park Road for repairs, with detours in place to aid motorists in navigating this disruptive event. In a harrowing event that unfolded in College Park, Maryland, a powerful storm wreaked havoc on a quiet neighborhood. A house was torn asunder, quite literally splitting in half under the relentless forces of nature. Winds reached a staggering 62 miles per hour, leaving destruction in their wake, from trees through houses to downed power lines. The community grapples with the aftermath, with numerous residents left without power, as repair crews work tirelessly to restore normalcy. This event stands as a stark reminder of nature's unforgiving power, leaving an indelible mark on the community's collective memory. 
The catastrophic flooding that has struck Vermont has unleashed unprecedented devastation, leaving the state in a state of emergency. This is considered one of the worst flooding events in nearly a century. The gravity of the situation is exemplified by authorities' fears that a nearby dam may not withstand the relentless deluge. With a staggering eight inches of rain pouring down in just a matter of hours, the city streets became treacherous waterways, and cars floated like driftwood. The disaster isn't limited to Montpellier alone. It's rippled through Vermont and beyond, leaving no corner unscathed. In Ludlow, Vermont, active train tracks hang precariously 100 feet above the ground after the floods washed away the earth beneath them. The scale of destruction extends to neighboring areas, with Orange County in New York facing damages estimated in the tens of millions of dollars. In the wake of the devastating Hurricane Laura, Lake Charles, Louisiana found itself in the grip of unparalleled catastrophe. The city streets bore the scars of nature's fury, with nearly every corner showcasing the aftermath. Toppled trees, entangled power lines, shattered windows, and battered homes and businesses. An astonishing 98% of residents grappled with prolonged power outages as infrastructure repairs proved a slow and challenging endeavor. Incredible moment, pilot of single-engine plane is forced to make emergency landing in the middle of a North Carolina highway after suffering engine failure. In a surreal harmony, asphalt met runway as the emergency unfolded. Cars slowed, and bystanders watched in awe. Thank God the pilot was safe. Outside Leebrook Church on Leebrook Road North in Birmingham, the burst water mains gave birth to an unforeseen spectacle. The road, once a canvas for tires and footsteps, now mirrored a river's flow, its asphalt concealed beneath a watery veil. Oh, it's going on, it's going. Oh, looking, it's In the heart of Changsha, central China, a towering inferno transformed the cityscape into a breathtaking spectacle. A skyscraper, once a symbol of urban prowess, now stood engulfed in a fierce blaze, casting an eerie glow against the sky. Oh, no. The building, home to the state-owned telecommunications giant China Telecom, became a crucible of destruction and vulnerability. So terrible. Lesbos, also known as Lesbos, is a picturesque Greek island located in the northeastern Aegean Sea. The island is renowned for its olive cultivation. The landscape is dotted with olive groves that produce high-quality olive oil. The island's fertile land supports agricultural activities. In 2020, a tragic incident unfolded in Greece. A devastating migrant campfire erupted, rendering approximately 13,000 people without shelter or refuge. The camp, located on the island of Lesbos, was known as the Mariah Camp and housed migrants and refugees who had sought safety and a better life in Europe. The fire, which reportedly started as a series of smaller blazes before escalating into an inferno, engulfed the camp in a matter of hours.
tents, makeshift shelters and personal belongings turned to ashes, leaving a harrowing scene of destruction in its wake. This stands as a stark reminder of the vulnerabilities faced by displaced populations and the imperative to prioritize safety and compassion in the face of crisis. A frightening blast at a power substation rattled part of Burbank and sent a ball of fire and thick smoke over a neighborhood near the Phi Freeway. The explosion and fire knocked out power for nearby businesses and homes as a thick column of smoke rose over the area. The explosion was reported at a Burbank water and power property near Empire Center. Firefighters knocked down a fire that burned within the substation fencing. No other structures appear to be threatened. There were no immediate reports of injuries. Don't forget to press the like button, subscribe and watch more below videos on your phone. Todd Brook Reservoir, situated near Whaley Bridge in Derbyshire, England. The reservoir, surrounded by picturesque landscapes. Its towering walls stand as a testament to human ingenuity. It's also offering life-sustaining resources to the community here. Last month in the Gulf of Mexico, a chilling incident occurred when flames erupted in the Nuchach Alpha offshore platform. It's a vital hub of energy production. The offshore platform was suddenly engulfed by a fierce fire that cast an ominous glow over the water. So terrible. A massive fire ignited on Knosley Industrial Park in Kirby, setting off a substantial emergency service mobilization. Flames erupted with fierce intensity, painting the sky with an ominous glow as smoke billowed. Whoa! Yeah? Oh my god! A massive fire has broken out at the Bridgewater Plastics Factory on an industrial estate in Helsey, East Yorkshire, sending large plumes of smoke miles into the air. Locals have reported hearing loud bangs, and one resident said coal had landed in their garden as Humberside's police also warned members of the public to avoid the area. Thank you for watching the video. If you feel it's good, please feel free to click the subscribe button to receive more interesting videos. See ya.